Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a new background. We're just switching up. We're just gonna switch it up for today. I know that it looks really dark on the back and it's because it's like nine o'clock at night and I randomly decided that I wanted to film. I'm actually in my living room and I don't know, I just wanted to film here. So this is where we're chilling today. So today's video is going to be um, items that I've used up and would I purchase them again or are they a no-go? I have a pretty full bag and I've just been collecting some stuff that I have gone through and I figured that I would do a video for you guys and let you guys know again if these are items that worked out for me, if I would try them again or not. So let's get started because I have a couple of a lot of things. So I'm just going to pull out things at random. The first thing is this Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Moisturizer. This is the one that you use at nights and this does have accelerated retinol which um, this what it claims to do is it claims to um, get rid of any wrinkles that you may, may have, any fine lines, crow's feet, things like that. You guys know that my wrinkles are like a big thing for me like I hate my wrinkles and honestly they are a big insecurity for me just because I feel like they make me feel they make me feel and look so much older than what I really am and I don't know I thought I would give this a shot I tried it out for about a month which is what it lasted me and I honestly didn't see a difference as far as wrinkles. Um, I still have them, the ones, the little small ones here. It did kind of vanish them a little bit, but not too much. What I did notice though is that my skin looked really radiant. It looked really um, like youthful. So it did give my skin a really nice complexion. But as far as wrinkles, it just, it was a no-go. But it is a good product overall. I would repurchase it just for the fact that I liked how my skin was looking when I was using this product. Again, it was just really radiant and I really enjoyed it. Now, I do have some white piece here. These are by the brand Aquit. I believe that's how you pronounce it. <clears throat> these are <coughs> these are the nighttime soothing makeup remover towelettes and these are compared to Neutrogena Night Calming Cleansing Towelettes. I really like this brand because first of all, they're very affordable and second of all, they're not irritating to my skin. Sometimes I can have sensitive skin, it's really weird. And then I have the ones that are the exfoliating ones and these are, I don't know what they're compared to, but these are the ones that have cucumber, aloe and green tea and I love it when they have them on sale because they have the two packs for like $6. And you get about 60 towelettes, which is amazing. I currently have um, the blue ones, which are the ones for Neutrogena or the ones that are compared to Neutrogena. And I really, really like them. I like all of these. I, again, they just don't irritate my skin whatsoever. And I feel like it removes my makeup so good. So I definitely um, recommend these if you guys are on a budget and you are looking for some good makeup removers. I like these. Okay, and then next I have the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. This is actually um, a second bottle or I have a second tube of this because I love this so much. Um, so it's a moisturizer and I love how it smells. It smells so good. It's a very nice, clean, um, fresh scent. This claims to visibly reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So as you can see, I have a thing for things that will make my wrinkles disappear. Um, and then this is formulated with collagen. So again, I don't see a difference as far as erasing my wrinkles or anything like that. But if you have oily skin, you have to try this. This is amazing. I love it because it's so lightweight and when you apply it to the skin before either bedtime or before you apply your makeup, it literally absorbs into your skin like this. You don't have any oily residue, you don't have any shine, it just sinks into your skin but it still feels really nice and moisturized which is what I can appreciate. And it's not too expensive which is another thing that, that I can also appreciate. Ugh. 
Um, I believe it's around three or four dollars. So all my girls that are balling on a budget, this one's for you. I like it. I obviously like to experiment and try other things out, but I mean, a second tube of this says a lot. Here I have the Neutrogena All-in-One Acne Control Daily Scrub. This one is, um, it clears up acne's past, present, and future. I used this for a while because I was having some acne issues. And this one contains 2% uh, of salicylic acid. And I really did like this. I did feel like it controlled my acne a lot when I had it really flared up. Um, but it wasn't anything magical. So, I mean, I don't know if I would repurchase this, honestly, just because I've tried better things. But if maybe you are looking for something that will treat your acne right now that you have it. And again, if you are on a budget, then I think you should try this because, like I said, it did work for me. But it's not the best thing that I've tried. I love Neutrogena. You're going to see a couple of other Neutrogena things in here. Here I have the Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. This is a pore refiner primer. I actually got this one in my Ipsy bag months ago when I had Ipsy. This primer is amazing. I've looked it up online and it's expensive. And I really don't know that I can dish out $45 for a primer. It's not this size. It's a bigger size. But... $45, I don't know. It's it's good though. This is for oily to combination skin and it does instantly just mattify your skin and your pores look a lot smaller. I honestly think this is the best primer that I've used so far. I've tried the Benefit Professional and then right now I'm using the Makeup Forever. Um, what's it called? The, that gray one, the one that just... Um, makes your pores appear, appear smaller and I honestly think that this is just an amazing product I mean maybe later I can dish out $45 and pay for the big one but it's expensive but it is amazing so if I do get my hands on it I will let you guys know okay so next I have my elf mineral mist this is a replenish and revitalizing mineral mist I talked about this in my I think it was my March favorites I don't remember this stuff is so amazing I ran out of it so quickly because I was using it on a daily basis um, this has witch hazel rosemary chamomile honeysuckle aloe and vitamin B so it has tons of good stuff what I would do with this is I would apply it after I applied my moisturizer I just lather my face in this and my face just I don't know there's just something about this that would make my skin feel so refreshed so clean and so soft I definitely need to restock on this I haven't placed an order on elf for a while so I'm gonna have to get my hands on probably a couple of these because I run out of it pretty quickly um, here I have another Neutrogena product this is the Neutrogena triple moisture cream lather shampoo I also have uh, the conditioner but I think I threw it away and I just kept the shampoo this shampoo smells so freaking good I love it this is for um, extra dry over processed and color treated hair I used this way before I did my ombre and I just loved how it made my hair feel it feels so silky and really smooth the only thing that I don't like about this product is that it weighed down my hair because I don't know I think it was like too creamy and I don't know it just made my my hair feel a little, a little too down not that I like big hair but I do like to have some type of, some type of volume to my hair um, I've repurchased this plenty of times I've had it for well I haven't had it but I've used it for years and I really do enjoy this product like I said it's it's good but if you don't like shampoos or conditioners that weigh down your hair your hair you might not like this and it's pretty affordable. I think it's only like $5 or something like that. Okay, next is this Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. 
I bought this months ago when I did an Ulta haul like back at the beginning of my video so if I can find it I will leave it linked down here but it was an Ulta haul and I had gotten this this stuff is pretty good I mean I didn't see a huge difference in my skin what I did like is that it smelled like roses so if you like the smell of roses then I think you're going to like this it's not tested on animals which is a pretty big thing um, and yeah I mean it's it's all right. I don't think I would repurchase it. I haven't so far. Um, I just like this for the fact that it smelled like roses, like I said. All right, so next I have another facial thing. This is a Biore Free Your Pores Pore Unclogging, Unclogging Scrub. This deep cleans your pores and it smooths your skin. Now, this was an okay product. I really didn't feel a difference as far as unclogging my pores and um, deep, cleaning, deep cleaning them or anything like that. I'm not gonna lie, I bought this because I saw Kylie Jenner that she posted it on Instagram that she was using this and I mean come on Kylie Jenner has amazing skin so I figured I'd try it and obviously it didn't give me Kylie Jenner skin so that was a bummer <laughs> but overall I did kind of enjoy the products but I would not repurchase it here I have the Bath and Body Works sleep time sleep nighttime tea body lotion and I felt like I went through this so quickly like I don't know I felt like I had it for a month and then it was like gone all of a sudden I'm like where the hell did it go and um, I got this because for a while I was having a really hard time sleeping since I am a stay-at-home mom um, I would just kind of sleep very late till like 1 or 2 in the morning and I wanted something that would help me sleep and I'm honestly not a medication type of person but I figured that I would give this a shot to see if it worked. Honestly, it did nothing. It didn't make me sleepier. It didn't calm me down. It did smell really good. And it's really rich in its formula. So my skin felt really nice and hydrated. But, I mean, again, it just it didn't do anything as far as putting me to sleep. Okay, so we are almost done. So here I have the same types of fresh skin apricot scrub. This deeply exfoliates your skin. This stuff is no joke. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years. My sister also uses it and we both love it. I actually have another one in my bathroom at this moment. This exfoliates your skin so amazing. The microbeads that it has is pretty rough, so you do want to be a little bit gentle gentle on your skin, otherwise you can irritate it. Um, the exfoliation factor back here is on deep, which again, it'll deeply exfoliate your skin. I know that there's some other ones, but I just love this one because I have oily skin. And this is an Allure Expert Beauty winner, so thumbs up for that so yeah I really love this product and like I said I would repurchase it over and over again because it's just a product that I truly enjoy so next I have my Mary Kay time wise age fighting moisturizer I got this along with one of their like face cleansing things and this is okay um, again it's just a moisturizer which it wasn't heavy it was very lightweight I did like to use this before I apply my makeup just so my skin can be very nice and hydrated. But, I mean, it's not any other amazing product that I swear by or that I live by. If I had to choose in between these two, I would definitely choose this one. But this is just something that I wouldn't repurchase again. Next is the Anastasia Brow Wig. And I was using the color Granite. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I went through this like freaking water. Um, I love this product. I do. I think it's an amazing product, but the price is just really high. But the price is just, it's a little high. I mean, $21 for this, and it doesn't last that long. That was my problem. I went through this, like, water, like I said. And, I mean, I maybe, I mean, maybe I would repurchase it, but I've been using the NYX micro brow pencil and it's honestly the same thing it's I like it I think it's pretty much identical and the price point is 
huge. It's I think $10 for the NYX Micro Brow Pencil versus this is $21. So I don't know. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. I don't hate the product. I do love it. I just hate the price. So next I have this disgusting looking mask. This is the Mask of Magnum Mincy by Lush Cosmetics. This stuff is amazing. I haven't used it or bought it anymore because I have another mask that is probably better than this one. I liked this one though because of the mintiness that it gave my skin. Um, I didn't feel a huge difference as far as like controlling my acne or um, deeply cleaning my skin but I did like the mask uh, does that make sense but it's okay I would repurchase it though I don't think I would get this big tub because it has a um, what do you call it um, that date when it expires and for this much it was just too much for me alone so if I were to purchase it again, I would get the smaller one because it is a good product. Don't get me wrong. It is good. All right. All right. So we're almost done. I promise. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Corrector. This is in the color 230 and there's still some in there, but somebody opened it and left it out and it completely dried. I love this product. It had like a little swirl and it was a little bit more on the yellow side. This stuff is amazing. It's really creamy and it's really like velvety. It's so easy to apply and it's so easy to uh, blend out. I haven't bought this in a while because honestly I have so many concealers that I should probably use up first. But yeah, good products overall. Now I have just a couple more things. Um, this is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder and this product is amazing again um, as you can see I totally hit pan on this which is really rare for me I barely hit pan on anything but I just love this product so much um, I use the color warm beige 07 I have a second one already that's in my drawer because I love it so much so I also got this on one of my ipsy backs again months ago and this is just like a mist for your face um, it's literally like you're spraying out water. I did like it, but I wouldn't purchase it personally just because, I don't know, it was nothing to me. It was literally water, just spraying it on your face. This is the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. Um, I've had this for a while now, and I tried this one because I saw Nicole Guerrero here on YouTube that she raved about this, and I tried so hard to like this product. But I didn't like it. I felt like it irritated my skin almost when I deeply exfoliated my skin. It just made it really sensitive. And I don't know. There was something about this that I just, I really didn't care for. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't purchase this product again. Um, another thing that I have for your skin is this one right here. This is the 40 Carats Retinol Rich Skin Care. This is an eye gel. This contains carrot and cucumber. So this is supposed to de-age and awaken you tired looking eyes. Which I bought this again when I was going through that like insomnia phase. I swear.